a dog on my lap right here, so <laughs> bear with me. Um, okay, I have primed my eyelid already with Too Faced Shadow Insurance, and now I'm just gonna use this NYX Jumbo Pencil in Strawberry Milk, and I'm just gonna apply that across the lid, um, just on the lid. I'm not gonna like take it all the way up here or anything. Just for a sticky base um, and just pat over that. Yeah, that's fine. Um, because I'm going to apply kind of like a loose shadow on top. And it's from NYX. It's one of the roll-on shimmers. Um, this one is in Salmon. And it's a really pretty glittery pink. As you can see right over here. So I put down a sticky base and then I just roll this right over the lid. And you will get some fallout with this. That's why I haven't done my foundation yet. Uh, next, I'm going to use a transition color in my crease, and I'm just going to use like a matte tan color. I've got Charcoal Brown by MAC here, and sometimes I like to use this brush for the crease. Uh, it's from Crown Brush. It doesn't have a number on it or anything, but it's, what do you call this, like a doe fit, I think? I really like it um, for covering like a large area at one time. Because this doesn't need to be like super precise. Um, I'm just doing this right now so that I can put this dark color down. And then I'm going to go back in with this tan color too. It doesn't have to be perfect right now. So next, um, I'm going to go in with a dark color in the outer corner. And for that, I'm going to use this fake shadow from e.l.f. This is called Burnt Plum. And this is a beautiful, just like plum cranberry color. I love it. And I'm going to switch to a more dense, smaller blending brush for that. And I'm just going to build this up right in this outer corner here. I'm going to bring it down just a little bit onto the lid on the outer part. And if you need to go back in in a minute and deepen that, we can. So I'm going to go back with the tan now and just blend out the edge of that. So I went up really high with that. Um, I'm gonna blend it back down with my highlight color, but I really wanted to bring it up high so that you can still see it after I do my liner and lashes and stuff. So I've got this shadow here by Jordana. This is called Creamy Vanilla. And this, I love this color. This is just a matte cream color. This is going to help us bring those shadows back down a little bit. And I'm just going to touch up the lid here. There we go. Now if you've got any fallout, you can just go ahead and wipe that away. And you can also kind of clean up the edge here if you need to. My under eyes look shiny. I went ahead and put on a little bit more eye cream since I wiped it away. So um, let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and work on the eyeliner and just make a thin line on the top. I'm gonna do just a little wing. Kind of hard to do when I can't get as close to the mirror as I need to because Someone is on my lap trying to help. <laughs> I didn't do a very good job on my eyeliner today. I'll show you why. Hang on. Hey, Sammy. <laughs> so that's why I didn't do a very good job on my eyeliner. <laughs> Guys, I went ahead and did my face. Uh, so we're going to finish up the eyes now. And I'm going to take just a small flat brush and I'm going to go back into the charcoal brown and just put that just like line your lower lash line with that is what I'm going to do. And then just on the outer part I'm going to go in with the plum color. A little added definition out here. And then for the inner corner I'm going to go in with another jumbo pencil. This one is from Jordana. And this is called Eternal White, and it's just a matte color, very pigmented. And I'm going to go right around the inner tear ducts. I want this to be really bright. And I'm just grabbing any light shimmery color. This one is from Sally's Beauty Supply. This is 99 cents, and it's called Champagne. And I'm just going to use my finger and just 
dot that right over the base. This is a really pretty color, very pigmented too, for 99 cents. Not powdery, like if I blow on it, still on there, just saying. Okay, and this would look so good with false lashes, but you ever have days where you just don't feel like it? <laughs> so I'm just gonna curl my lashes and put on some mascara. Uh, my lashes are crappy again because I had to stop using the Rapid Lash. But after I have this kid, I'm going to start again. <laughs> okay, new mascara obsession. This is so rare for me to love a mascara this much, especially after, well, literally the first use. I was amazed. And this came in the Sephora Glitz and Glam set. I got it during the VIB sale. And this is from Lancome, the only Lancome product I've ever tried in my life. And this is um, Hypnostar. The only thing that would make this better if it was is if it were waterproof. Do you all know if they make a waterproof version? Because if they do, this might be my very first high-end mascara purchase. Not even kidding. Like, I've never in my life went out and bought... A full size high end mascara. I've tried them just because they happen to come in kits that I buy, but I've never went out and just like bought a mascara at Sephora or you know any other kind of counter like that. But I love this stuff. All right, guys, so I did add a little bit of a nude eyeliner in the waterline just to brighten up my eyes a little more and then just the same time I went ahead and did my cheeks but I'll tell you what I used. I contoured all around my face with NARS Laguna bronzer and then for blush uh, keeping with like the plum mauve pink tones I have this really pretty blush that's so inexpensive. It is from oh, I can't get it open. It's from LA Colors. It's one of their mineral blushes and the shade is called Autumn. And look at how gorgeous and pigmented this is. It's so pretty. Just gives you like the prettiest mauve -y flush. And I did go a little bit light with it. And for a little bit of a highlight, I've been absolutely loving this lately. Um, where my skin is so pale and dry right now. Like I just feel like it's hard for me to get a glow. Like I'm so pale that it won't show up. So I've been, this is like really intense. So I've been using this a lot. So for the lips, I'm gonna line them first with a lip liner by NYX. This is called Bloom. And I'm just gonna blend the edges a little bit. And then for lipstick, I'm going to use one of my all-time favorites. It's from MAC. This is called Hot Gossip. And I thought this would go really good with the look. Because it's that same kind of like mauve tone. I think Revlon Lip Butter and Berry Smoothie would be pretty with this too. Alright guys, so that is the finished look. Let's not talk about my hair. I need to wash it. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, this is the finished look. I really, really hope you guys like it. It felt so good to do another tutorial again. I'm really feeling myself like getting back in the swing of things. So um, thank you all so much for your support and um, all your comments that I'm still getting on some of my recent videos. I just love you all to pieces. And yeah, look in the info bar. I'll list all the products I used, including like what I didn't show, like my foundation and stuff like that, just if you're wondering. Also, what's on my nails, I'll put that down there. And um, where you can find me on Instagram and Twitter. I hope you guys are having a great week. If this goes up before Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving. Uh, if not, I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. <laughs> and I'll see you guys later. Bye.